growing up in this urban environment, I always wanted to fantasize about being somewhere else, about being in the country and, and doing something different than everyone else. This area was like a playground, you know? Th these buildings, we would climb on the roof and, and break into them, and I don't know, that was fun for us. And I guess when there's nothing else to do, swimming in a polluted ocean or breaking into a building seems like fun. You see that bridge? That's the Triborough Bridge. Do you know what's on the other side of the Triborough Bridge? Manhattan and the South Bronx, okay? Now everyone says that hip hop started in the South Bronx, right? Just think, look at that bridge. Now, people, all this information is coming out now, okay? But right over there in the Astoria projects, there was a group called the Disco Twins, who were two DJs who were there the same time as Bambata, okay? Who go way the hell back to the early 70s, okay? But, and, and Bambata and all these other guys can attest that these guys were there, but right over that bridge, the South Bronx, that's where the media attention was. Bambada and those guys had more notable gigs. They were more recognizable and their thing was a little bit more organized because the South Bronx is just the Bronx. It's, you know, it's, it's concentrated. Queens is Hollis, Jamaica, Corona. It's very spread out. The South Bronx was very concentrated and it was very easy to understand this is hip hop, this is where it came from. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that hip hop didn't start over there on the other side of that bridge. I'm just saying, while that stuff was happening over there, it was happening over here. And people can say all they want about Uptown and the South Bronx, I give it to them. They were pioneers, they were there. People in Queens were there too, but if you wanna talk about success in the music industry, nobody's fucking with Queens. LL Cool J, Run DMC, Nas, 50 Cent. Everyone's from Queens. Anyone who sells records and makes money is in Queens. Talk, who, who from the Bronx is making money? And it's not about making money, it's about the culture. It's about the creation of music and culture and the Bronx did that. But when if you wanna talk about notoriety and, and Queens, just look at your record store, look online. All of these really important artists have come from Queens. And another thing that people, people think that Queens Bridge, right, is like a, uh, like a, like it's a town, it's a city or something. It's just the name of a housing project. It's not like a, an, an area. It's just a, a bunch of buildings. But everyone thinks that Queens Bridge is something bigger than it actually is. I mean, it's the biggest housing projects in America, but outside of that, that's all it is. If you look at the water, the, the surface level, you'll see it's going in lots of different directions, right? One way it's going here, going there. There's a serious undertow. Do you know what an undertow is? On the surface level, it's going this way. Under it, it's going another way. And even under it, it's going another way. So it's easy to get dragged under. So a friend of mine, we were playing, we were swimming, and he had a suitcase. We found a suitcase that was around. He went on the suitcase, was floating on the suitcase, and then they took him out. He, he got sucked, sucked under by the undertow. They found him two days later.